This is Pastor Greg Mayhorn. I'm glad you're joining me today as we look in the Word of God for just a few minutes. I want to go to Mark chapter 11 today. We're going to begin to look at some truths about the subject of faith. Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verse 22, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. You might have a different translation that would render that have the faith of God. That's correct, obviously, because we're talking about faith that comes from God. He's the originator of it. And he goes on to say in verse 23, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says, whoever, the old King James says whosoever, and of course that means it's available for anybody. And I really appreciate that. I'm so glad that you don't have to be uh, born at a certain time, you don't have to be a certain race or a certain uh, age or you know you don't have to have a certain pedigree or educational background. None of that matters. If you're a person, you're a whosoever. So he says, whoever or whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things which he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. When we look into this passage, we are looking at Jesus' powerful teaching about faith that came about as a result of something that had just happened over the course of the last 24 hours or so in his life. Because the day before, he and his disciples had went up to Jerusalem. Jesus went by a fig tree, and he was hoping to get some figs, but there was none on it. And... Um, so he cursed the tree. He didn't cuss it, but he cursed it. He just basically spoke to it that no one will eat fruit from you ever again. And so uh, they went on to Jerusalem. They did what they wanted to do that evening, they, uh, that day. They left and went out that evening. And so they were coming back in. And uh, so when they came in, verse 20 says, Now in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. That's absolutely miraculous because trees don't die overnight. I mean, many times trees take a long time to die. and They just turn brown in portions of it. And, you know, some of you have been through that. You've had a tree in your yard and it died. I remember one time we built a house years ago and there was a particular tree that I really wanted to save and have in my front yard, this big hickory tree. And... Uh, but I began to realize that it just started slowly dying away, dying away, and had to cut it down. It was not going to live. That didn't happen overnight for me, but this did. Now, the reason I belabor this point is because we're talking about something that causes supernatural things to happen. And that's really what faith does. Faith connects us to the supernatural. Faith connects us to God, and God is supernatural. So they came by that next morning. They saw the tree dried up. And Peter, remembering, verse 21, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. And then that brings us to the 22nd verse where we started today. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. In other words, he was saying to Peter, what you have seen, what you've witnessed here, is a result of faith working. And then in verse 23, he says, whosoever shall say. So in essence, what Jesus is saying, you've seen me do it, you can do it. And that's one of the greatest truths about your faith that you'll ever realize is that you are not limited to just what you feel or you uh, have seen others do maybe in the natural. You have the limitless power of God at your disposal, of course, based on his word, with the foundation of truth in the word, but there are no limits to what faith will do. So stay with us over the next few weeks as we study this great subject.